It's that time of year where there's talk of Democratic leadership changes. Uh, and so coming in for Harry Reid, who was the Senate minority leader, is Chuck Schumer from New York. Uh, it was widely expected that he would have been elected uh, to succeed uh, Harry Reid, and he was. Uh, so Wednesday, he made an announcement that he was expanding the leadership team by adding three new members. Under Leader Reid, we had seven members in leadership. I've decided to expand the team and add three new members who are here today, and I'm so proud of each of them. Bernie Sanders, Joe Manchin, Tammy Baldwin. Adding Bernie, Tammy, and Joe to our team shows we can unite the disparate factions of our party and our country. Our whole leadership team is emblematic of that. The team is ideologically and geographically diverse. It mixes the wisdom of experience with the vigor of youth, at least in Senate years. Well, Bernie Sanders is going to be on the leadership team. What, uh, okay. As what? As what? Uh, from what I see, Bernie Sanders will be the new chair of outreach. Ooh. <laughs> chair of outreach. Yeah. Out, outreach. Reach out. Out. Outreach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> If you want to, like, there's another word for that 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 you could use. I, I think we've used that word before. Yeah, we've used it plenty of what, times. Was that word mascot? Okay, mascot. Yeah. That's what Bert. That, so that's what they want Bernie Sanders to do. They want Bernie Sanders to pull more people into the Democratic Party. Chair of outreach. So they want him to spend that you know populist outreach program that he did throughout his campaign. They just they just might as well just give him a. a, a a bobblehead. Yeah, that's you know all he needs. That's all he needs. So, uh, this this means nothing to me. This means absolutely nothing. It's so transparent what they're trying to do here. This doesn't mean that the Democratic Party is actually going to change for the better and it's actually going to start representing people. No, they just want Bernie Sanders to be that bridge to help people come over to the Democratic side or to stay with the Democrats because we know that a lot of people left the Democratic Party. Dim exit. But no, they, they want they want Bernie Sanders as that catalyst. You know, come, come on, work for us. We we saw that all throughout the campaign. I remember Nancy Pelosi was saying the same things. You know, oh we have no no doubt that when it comes time, you know, Bernie Sanders is gonna uh I remember the you know, inter- galvanize remember all the supporters. The, the, the few weeks ago the interview uh, Chuck Schumer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have on your left flank Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders uh, putting intense pressure on you and Hillary Clinton. Tell me how you're going to balance that. Look, pressure. they know we got to get things done. You actually think Elizabeth and Warren second, intends to be a team player? Absolutely. She's going to surprise everybody. She is going to be both a progressive and a constructive force. He was like, well, you know, they know we have stuff to get done. They'll yeah. be on board. Right. Which translates to we expect them to kind of uh, dial down their rhetoric. Yeah, when so, it comes so down to when it. it. When it comes down to fighting for right. Team Democrat. Right. I don't expect any differences from the Democratic Party. Why not? Because we've already seen what the Democratic Party is. But they're changing. They're making changes. Leadership positions. Yeah. And adding a, you know, progressive like Bernie Sanders. Is and, 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 and he's going to be, he's going to have, an, and Bernie Sanders is going to have a, a, a seat in the budget committee. Right? Yeah, he is. And and let's see, Congress is controlled. Oh, by Republicans. Republicans. Okay, so it's not gonna really mean anything. <laughs> no. Later on, uh, in the speech, he said they were gonna stand shoulder to shoulder with Republicans. Oh, is that what work, he said? Yes, he said, and work with uh Donald Trump, the new president, uh, and try to, you know, uh in areas that they agree yeah, on. Yeah, areas that they agree on. Yeah. Because they agree on so many different areas. Mm-hmm. 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 That just that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, it, it sounds good, <laughs> and, and it even looks good. Like I said, you you having people like Bernie Sanders, and you have people like Elizabeth Warren, who everybody, well, not everybody, but how you know she she has been. What was the other, looked at as what was the other dude Mansion? Yeah, Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin. At one point, he was one of Hillary Clinton's biggest boosters, though. Mm-hmm. Well, like again, we're we're not seeing a change in the Democratic Party. Just, okay, we're just the optics oh, are it's like, different. It's like a, it's like a, like a merry-go-round. Yes, okay. the, all all that's changing is optics. Maybe rhetoric will change somewhat, 
But this Democratic Party is the same as it has been for decades. Um, it is a corporatist party. Uh, it leans left. Well, not actually, no, no, no. It fakes left, like <laughs> Jill Stein said. <laughs> fakes left, goes right all the time. You can count on it. If they actually wanted to be a party for people, they would let go of all the corporate ties that they have, all the lobbyist ties that they have, but they don't want to do that. So be 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 rest assured bernie sanders being the chair of outreach all that means is gonna have a couple pom-poms <laughs> <laughs>